timely conversation to other newsmaking headlines. Neglected tropical diseases have been troubling thousands of Kenyans silently. Some of these conditions are too embarrassing for patients to seek help. These diseases have affected six coastal counties. Outbreaks like the outbreaks of diseases rather like chikungunya, dengue fever, bilharzia, lymphatic uh, filariasis and hydrocele have been reported. And today, Beldin Waliaula trains her eyes on hydrocele, a silent disease that affected several men who shy away from seeking treatment. Many not aware that treatment is available. Listen in. We are in Mombasa County, one of the counties in the coastal region highly hit by hydrocell. Hydrocell is when abdominal fluid fills a sac in a man's scrotum, causing it to swell. The main symptoms is swelling, which may cause discomfort or pain. At Portree's Hospital, we meet two patients who have lived with hydrocell for many years. Bakari Rongo is now 36 years old and a father of two. He is a resident of Miritini. He has been living with hydrocell for three years now. He explains that living with hydrocell has not been easy as it comes with sporadic pain that has affected his self-esteem and productivity. But how has he been coping with life with his condition? At the time we were speaking to him, Bakari was scheduled to have surgery at Portree's hospital. He ages affected men who are too embarrassed to come out. Hydrocell can only be treated through surgery known as hydrocelectomy. There are no medication available to shrink the hydrocell. During a hydrocelectomy, a surgeon removes the hydrocell and closes any opening that will lead to the accumulation of fluids again in the scrotum. Mazara Mambo is 50 years of age and a father of eight. He lives in Kimbeni and has been living with hydrocell for almost 20 years now. Luckily, hydrocell doesn't affect one's fertility, and in the process, Mazera was able to sire his eight children comfortably. Him getting to the hospital for surgery was by sheer luck, if not coincidence. <laughs> We also spoke to him as he was awaiting his surgery. He hoped to be able to live a full and productive life again. The biggest challenge when it comes to eliminating hydrocell as a neglected tropical disease has been stigma. Some of them have hydrocell, but they have hernia as well. So for those ones, of course, we cannot do hydrocelectomy and then we do not do a hernioraphy. A hydrocelectomy surgery costs about 15 to 20,000 shillings. These are costs many cannot afford due to economic hardships. However, there are free medical surgeries being offered in the coastal region. Beldin, Waliaula, KT News.